Paris, the early 50s. We found each other in that lost quarter of Paris where the negative held court. It was the best made labyrinth for attaining wanderers. We gathered there in our youth to complete our education and to squander it. There we found in our wanderings the portents of the decline and fall of this world. Among this provisional micro-society were those you could define only by what they weren't. They possessed no art, no trade, no job. Deserters, lost children and the girls who had run away from the reformatory with their proud eyes. Professionals all of no profession. What starts out badly can thankfully never improve. The modern poets led us there. We were the happy few who felt it necessary to carry out their program in reality. There could be no more poetry or art. We had to find something better, and there was nothing better to do. Here revolt declared itself independent of any particular cause. We engaged in a systematic questioning of all the diversions and labours of society. A total critique of its idea of happiness expressed in facts. We were at war with the whole world, but light-heartedly. We watched a world already going up in smoke or dissipating in rivers of piss. History advances bad side first. Our task was a prodigious inactivity. The only causes we supported we had to define for ourselves. To finish off art, to announce the death of God, this time from the pulpit. The hard part was to convey through these seemingly delirious proposals a sufficient degree of serious seduction. To accomplish this, we resorted to an adroit use of currently popular means of communication. We flooded the market with a mass of desires whose realisation is not beyond present human means, but only beyond the capacity of the old social organisation. Our little group was on the margins of the economy, tending towards a role of pure consumption and above all the free consumption of time. A few encounters were like signals emanating from a more intense life, a life not yet found. The atmosphere of a few places gave us intimations of the future powers it would be necessary to create as the ambience for less mediocre values. Others would later promote various theories and commit assorted artistic deeds. But when one has had the opportunity of taking part in an adventure such as this, and avoided all the spectacular crashes that can befall one, then one is not in an easy position. We circled the night consumed by fire. We had to discover how to live the days after such a fine beginning, and with such a discovery, that obedience is dead. When freedom is practiced in a closed circle, it fades into a dream and becomes a mere representation of itself. All the eddies of the world course into history, but history does not fill up. And to the place from whence these rivers of turbulence come, they return. You can't see it, but you can hear it. The roar of the cataract of time. We shall never forget this benighted planet, or it us.